Hello, hello, dear brothers and sisters. Welcome. How is everybody doing? I hope you guys are doing great. Today we are going to uh, learn about from from Muslims, ex-Christians, now Muslims and atheists about the word of God. Happy is the one who kills infidels. Happy is the one who kills infidels. Where do you find this verse? Is it Quranic or is this a, a verse from the Bible? Let me ask you this question. Is this from the Quran or from the Bible? Happy is the one who kills infidels. <laughs> All right. So what do you think? Uh, well, uh, the point is we are going to study today. We'll continue this uh, uh, Bible portion which is uh, we are going to see the whole uh, uh, topic in, in um, uh, Psalm 137 from 1 to 9. We are going to uh, study from it is uh, uh, background, historical background. It is context, uh, the, uh, the time it happened and uh, uh, everything. And also we are going to see it from uh, God's grand plan of salvation and judgment of the whole world. We see when you come to the Bible, you have to see it from two vanish points. The first one is a is immediate background, the historical account, the historical background um, of that uh, text. And the second one is a whole grand plan of God, judgment uh, of uh, the world and the salvation of God's people. So you can see it from two vanish points or two point of views. So uh, we are going to see it. We are going to understand what God is teaching us here. So happy is, shall he be that takes and dashes thy little ones against the stones. Now let's see and watch the. Uh, these are like some of the videos uh, people are making about baby dashing babies against rocks. Wow, unspeakable Bible verse, uh, Psalm 137, verse 9. Happy is the one who seizes your infants and dashes them against the rocks. And these are atheists. And this, this one is, uh, it makes me laugh, laugh sometimes when I, uh, free thinker, they think they are free thinkers. And he's preparing like, like a very little one crushing. So, and also I got it here from, this is my language, Ethiopian language. Uh, uh, it is uh, Dr. Zakir Naik, Peace TV, Amharic. So a baby, happy is the one who smashes the baby, the little one against the babies against the stones. This is my language. Uh, so uh, the Ethiopian Muslims uh, use that one. So it is everywhere. It is everywhere. So what does the Bible say? Is it telling us, oh man, go and kill the little ones, pick them up, and smash them against the stones? Is that the teaching of the Bible, my friend? Is that what it really says? Okay, let's let's go and uh, hear uh, the great man. Uh, listen, listen, this is a, a Bible. Once upon a time, he was a great theologian, uh, still blogging theology. This is uh, old. He was Catholic uh, a believer and then he went into Islam. Now, listen how we read this, the, Quran, the Bible like the Quran. There's another verse that says, Happy is he who repays the infidel for what they have done to us. The infidel. The infidel. Is there an infidel in the Bible? What does infidel mean? He who seizes their infants and dashes them against the rocks. Yeah, this is his talking. Seizes the little ones and smashes against the rocks. So is that what the Bible teach, my friend? What is the message of the Bible when you take it and misuse it? So 
Now, uh, part by part, I'm going to discuss today with you. Um, uh, please have uh, patience and try to follow me. Open the Bible pages or, or, or parts which I'm going to uh, explain about. Now, what is the immediate circumstance, the immediate historical account? It happened. When? How? Where? Those questions are uh, answered when I read the text, when we read the text. Uh, an experience of the captivity. Uh, by the rivers of Babylon, there we sat down. Yea, we wept and we, we remembered Zion. So this is in Babylon captivity. In the, in the Babylon, cap, in Babylon captivity, which we can find it. Let me take you. Um, okay, where where can you find Daniel one? Um, Daniel one. In the third year of King of Jehoiakim, King of, uh, in the third year of the reign of Jehoiakim, King of Judah, came Nebuchadnezzar, King of Babylon, uh, unto Jerusalem and besieged it. Okay, the time uh, we read that. And the Lord gave Joachim, king of Judah, into the hand which, uh, with the parts of the vessels of the house of God, which he carried into the land of Shinar, which is Babylon, to the house of his God. And he brought the vessels into the treasure house of his God. So this is the account. And also uh, Ezekiel, Ezekiel has... Um, Ezekiel also the vision of now it came to pass in the 30th year in the fourth month in the fifth day of the month as I was among the captives by the river of Kaver which is in Babylon Babylon that the heavens were opened and I saw a vision of God so it's at the time of Babylon you can read Lamentations the book of Lamentation how the uh, the uh, the Babylonian came and uh, torn apart the even killed the babies, destroyed the babies, and uh, um, you know um, torn apart the uh, pregnant woman and did a whole lot of things. They sacrificed on the temple. The 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 priests of God were sacrificed on the temple. That is a lamentation. The book of lamentation you can read and understand so it is a it is a historical account is uh, during the babylon exile during the exile we hung our harps upon the willows in the midst of thereof for there they that carried us away captive required of us a song and they that wasted us required of us mirth saying sing as one of the songs of Zion what do they say we want to hear the songs of Zion you are captive but play the music bring the music and play the songs of Zion how and then what do they say how shall we sing the Lord's song in a strange land no no they say the Jewish people say, no, we cannot sing the songs of the Holy Land, the songs of Jerusalem, the songs of Zion, in the land of captivity, in the land of idols. We can't do. Fortunately, God came. The Spirit of God came to them and told them, if I forget thee, O Jerusalem, let my right hand forget her cunning. So no, God say no, I'll not sing it, sing it. I will never forget you, O Jerusalem. If I do not remember thee, let my tongue cleave to the roof of my mouth. If I prefer not Jerusalem above my chief joy, says the Lord. This is a very wonderful song. God gave them. No, I will take you out of this captivity. I will remember Jerusalem. I will rebuild the temple. God gave them. The Spirit of God gave, came and gave them a message of redemption, 
message of hope, message of, uh, you know, God's uh, himself, uh, you know, involvement in saving them from the land of the captivity. Remember, O Lord, the children of Edom in the day of Jerusalem, who said, raise it, raise it, even to the foundation thereof. So the children of Edom, the Edomite, uh, you know, were, were happy when the people were taken, when Jerusalem was turned, destroyed. So remember them. Now, God is telling, this, this is telling that God remember this. They did that. So God is going to pay them, not the Israelites, not you and me. O daughter of Babylon, listen now. O daughter of Babylon, who art to be destroyed. Okay. When? In the future. Who art to be destroyed means there is a preparation. There is a day of judgment for Babylon. There will be a, 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 a destruction of Babylon one day. Happy shall he be that rewardeth thee as thou hast served us. So he will pay them back to Babylon as it served to the people and did to the children of Israel. But that is a, the immediate uh, context. That's the immediate, when you read the Bible, this is the immediate context. So it is a, it starts there, but it expands. It expands. It goes beyond that area. That's what we are going to see. Happy shall he be that takes and dashes thy little one against stones. Happy shall he be that takes and smashes thy little ones against the stones. And that's what the people are confused here. I mean, they are offended. How come God is thy little ones? Is God telling the people of Israel to go and uh, even these people are captives. They cannot do it. This is a prophecy, my friend. This is a messianic prophecy. How come these people go and dash them? These people, these are captives. They are not even going to sing the songs. But the Spirit of God is revealing something graver than that. Something, uh, you know, uh, beyond that historical and cultural account. So who are, now we are going to ask, who are the, who is the one who dashes this, the little ones? Who are the little ones? Why? Why? So we are going to investigate. First, who is the one who, da who is the stone? What is the stone? The rock. The rock. The Hebrew word is the rock. Who is the rock? Who is the rock? Now, uh, now, um, Jesus, uh, Matthew 21, verse tw 42, Jesus says unto them, Did ye never read in the scriptures the stone which the builders rejected, the same is become the head of the corner? This is the Lord's doing, and it is marvelous in our eyes. Well, the stone, the stone, the stone. Therefore, I say unto you, the kingdom of God, of God shall be taken from you and given to the nation, bringing forth fruits thereof. And whosoever shall fall on this stone shall be broken. Well, who is this stone? Jesus Christ. Who is this stone? Jesus Christ. And whosoever shall fall on this stone shall be broken. But on, on whomsoever it shall fall, it will grind him to powder. What? Yes, this stone will fall upon someone. And then those people who fall 
the, the stone it fall upon, it will grind them into powder. Into powder. Well, who is this? Jesus. Jesus. Okay. Now, uh, let me go to, um, um, where is it? Look. Whosoever shall fall upon that stone shall be broken. But on whomsoever it shall fall, it will grind him to powder. So this is the stone. The stone is Jesus. And also, is it in the New Testament or uh, it, it has been uh, in the Old Testament too? Uh, now, remember. Moreover, brethren, this is 1 Corinthians chapter 10. Moreover, brethren, I would not say that you should be ignorant how that all our fathers were under the cloud and all passed through the sea. This is about the Israelite. And were all baptized unto Moses in the cloud and the, in the sea, and did all eat the same spiritual meat, and dr did all drink the same spiritual drink, for they drank of the spiritual rock that followed them, and that rock was Christ. Who is that rock? Christ. So it is from everywhere in the Bible, my friend. This is the rock. The rock. The rock is Jesus Christ. Whoever fall upon the rock will be broken, snared. Whomever the rock fall upon will be grinded, grind into powder. So this is in the future. We are not going, we are not commanded to go and kill anyone. So this is, the rock is Jesus. I can show you from many parts of the Bible, but for the sake of time, this is su suffice. And who are the little ones? Is the Bible talking about the little ones? The babies? No. The, then who are they? Hebrew, the book of Hebrews, chapter uh, 5, verse 12. For when, for the time you ought to be teachers, you have need that one teach you again, which be the first principles of the oracles of God, and are become such as have need of a milk, need of milk, and not of a strong meat. Oh, milk, milk, milk. For everyone that uses milk is unskillful in the word of righteousness, for he is a babe. Baby. Who is baby? Who reads the Bible and who will not learn? Who will not change? Who cannot understand? Richard Darwin, Daw Dawkins. And others, great men, Dr. Zakir Naik, all those, they read the Bible. But the, do they come to the to understand? No. But strong meat belongs to them that are full of age. Full of age, they are grown up. Even those who by reason of you use have their senses exercised to discern both good and evil. These are strong men. And those babies are not, are not the babies, little babies, but the men who read the Bible and who do not come to understand it. They have none of it. These are called babies, 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 little babies. The Bible calls them 2 Timothy, Timothy 3, 7, ever learning and never able to come to the knowledge of truth. Wow! Ever learning, all the time reading the Bible. You have to be careful, my friend. We have to be careful. When we come to the Lord, to the Word of God, am I learning? I am understanding? Am I understanding? I'm grasp am I grasping? You have to think all the time. If you are not learning from there, you are babe and you will be crushed in the last day.
So it, it's not talking about the babies. It is about these babies, these, these little ones in, in the spiritual things who read the Bible, who go into the Bible, but will never learn. Ever learning and never never be able to come to the knowledge of truth. These are babies. These are babies, infants. And this will be crushed during the, in the day of judgment when Christ comes. When Christ comes. So these are about Babylon. The children of Babylon. The wise men of Babylon. And the religion of Babylon which is Islam. Islam and all this. So go to Revelation 17. Finally, I'm putting it together. The doom of Babylon. Remember. Remember. The doom of Babylon. Why? Because it is Babylon. Babylon. Oh, daughter of Babylon. Who art to be destroyed. This is a prophecy. And now go back to uh, the book of Revelation. The doom of Babylon. You see how beautiful the Bible is? How wonderful the messages are? But you have to know how to find out. And there came one of the seven angels which had the seven vials and talked with me. Saying unto me, come hither. I show unto thee the judgment of the great whore that sitteth upon many waters. The waters in the Genesis chapter 1, these are the people. Waters are not j just water, but people. With whom the kings of the earth have committed fornication, and the inhabitants of the earth have been made drunk with the wine uh, of her fornication. This is, uh, you know, wise men who get a lot of money from her. So he carried me away in the spirit into the wilderness. Because we are in the wilderness now. We are going to the holy land. To everlasting destination. To Zion. To the, where the king of kings lives. Where the angels of God reside. We are going there. But we are, we are not yet there. So that, that, that's why she is trying to take us. Snatch us from there. Uh, you know. And I saw a woman sit upon a scarlet colored beast of, full of names of blasphemy, having seven heads and ten horns. And the woman was arrayed in purple and scarlet color and decked with gold and precious stones and pearls, having a golden cup in her hand full of the abominations and the filthiness of her fornication. And upon her forehead was written a name, uh, uh, forehead was a name written, Mystery, Babylon the Great, the mother of harlots, and the abomination of the earth. This is, you see, the harlot, the wicked. This is, uh, this is what Psalm is talking about. Okay? Read Chapter 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Uh, you know, uh, Revelation. How God judges this wicked whore. And I saw the woman drunken with the blood of the saints. What did she say? What, you know, the prayer. I remember what she has done to, me, to us. So she did. She continued to kill and to destroy the army of God. And I saw the woman drunken with the blood of the saints and with the blood of the martyrs of Jesus. So this is Babylon. Babylon! Now it encompasses not only Babylon but the whole world. Atheism is Babylon. Islam is Babylon. Hinduism is Babylon. Buddhism is Babylon. Judaism is Babylon. Catholic is Ca Babylon. All this wicked one is Babylon in enslavement. In enslavement. Egypt and Babylon, they belong to enslavement. 
people are enslaved. They don't belong to God, but they belong to this wicked woman. Islam, atheism, whatever call, everyone who do not belong to Jesus belongs to this wicked Babylon. So, the, her children are the one. Her children are the one who drank the blood of saints, killed them, in the name of Allah, in the name of whatever. Atheists, in the name of their Bali, they kill. They kill not physically by attacking, producing a whole lot of books. Oh, go to uh, Amazon and read about. Huh? Bart Arman, Dr. Bart Arman. Hmm? Dr. Bart Arman, the five star books. These are wicked books, book of wickedness. Look, five star. These are the children of Babylon who read the Bible and twist the Bible, but they never learn from the word of God. But they trade. They get a lot of money. Huh? A lot of money. The children of Babylon. When Christ comes, he will smash them. He will against himself. He will destroy them. Jesus is the one who destroys the wicked. So, repent. Repent. My friend. The, the Lord Jesus Christ is coming. He's coming and he will smash all the infants. You are infant if you don't know the Bible. He will destroy. But today is the day of salvation. But today is the day of mercy. But soon, soon it will be gone. No more salvation, no more the sun, no more the wind, no more, no more. Repent today, come to Jesus. I'm telling you, come to Jesus Christ and make it a serious issue. Make it a genuine issue and come to the Lord Jesus Christ and pray before him. Lord Jesus, have mercy. I don't want to be crushed. I don't want to be smashed. Yeah, your religion will not save you. No matter what, your social status will not save you. No matter what, your race, whatever you have, we will, ne will never save you from the hand of Jesus. Every knee will bow before him and every tongue will cry before him. So, come, come to Jesus. Because God loves you, my friend. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. The condemnation is you will be smashed against that rock, and you will be thrown into hell fire forever and ever. Lamentation, gnashing of this, my friend. It's not a joke. Life is not a joke. You have to pay, you know, pay attention and read the Bible and come to Jesus Christ and reconcile with him. This is what the Bible teaches us. This is what the message of the Bible is. It's not to kill the little ones. You cannot kill. I cannot kill. Don't kill anyone. Vengeance belongs to me, says Jesus. We don't say, Allah, walk about and kill anyone. No, that's not. That's not our job. That is Muhammadians, the Allah's army. So repent, come to the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you for watching. May the Lord richly bless you. If you have any question, please, please uh, uh, make a comment. I will, I will come and see it and then uh, we, we can discuss or join me online. May the Lord richly bless you. Have a wonderful night.